Okay, so I was trying to fi figure out how I'm going to mount my acrylic on these little L frames. I really wanted something that was actually like an L where one side would be a little bit longer, like twice as long as, as the other. But this is what I had to deal with and uh, I was pretty concerned. But when I went out I bought a drill bit, a couple of drill bits. I bought Milwaukee titanium tipped bits. Uh, I don't know the brand name. I'll, I'll, I've got a spare one I'll bring over and, and show it to you guys. Um, but that's, that's it right there. I went and I was looking for a 5mm bit um, because they're 5mm LEDs. I figured something just a tad bigger would be perfect. And I ended up getting, I think it was 13 64ths is the size of the bit. Um, we'll check that in a second. Uh, drilled through the aluminum fairly easily. Mostly I just had to make sure my batteries were charged because they weren't fully charged when I started. So that's the only real obstacle I had. But I managed to get through two three foot pieces um, in, I don't know, an hour. Starting from grabbing my felt marker and, uh, you know, to the end of drilling my holes. They're not exactly perfectly straight, but I figure maybe that'll just help with the uh, total internal reflection. Having some of the LEDs, you know, entering the acrylic surface at different points. Um, I wasn't too worried about exactness, and I think it'll be fine. So, as it turns out, this works better than I ever could have dreamed. So here's my three foot piece with the holes drilled in it. Obviously it will sit under the acrylic, something like this. Um, I plan on putting some like some foam tape in the bottom down here to kind of cushion the acrylic and maybe raise it up by a millimeter or two so that the holes line up really nice and well with kind of averaging right in the middle of the width of the acrylic. It'd be a lot easier to kind of see with the protective film removed but I'm not going to take that out until I'm done cutting and polishing. But anyway, uh, what I was saying about how this worked out better than I could have ever dreamed. Here's the bit. If you can read that. Milwaukee Thunderbolt Titanium Drill Bit. 13 64ths of an inch. This is right there, 5.16 millimeter. It is the perfect size. I'm not plugging Milwaukee here. Uh, I mean, I've got a titanium bit because I figured I'm drilling through aluminum and I want to make the bit last long, so I bought two bits. I figured that would work out long enough, but um, I'm not speaking to the brand, just the size of the bit. This is the perfect size, 13 ths or 5.16 millimeter. Um, because here are my holes, and I will grab... Here we go. Here's one of the 4550s. I'm not using these ones, but this is a good way to show it. Um, at the bottom of, LE, of any LED, and I never really noticed this before, there's a little ridge. You can kind of see it. It's got like a lip at the bottom, which is just big enough to stop the LED from going all the way through with this size of hole. So as I put it in the hole, it stops right there. It will not go any further. Oops. There we go. I'm pushing on it. It's not going. So it's holding there very nicely. I saw on one of the forum posts a link to a blog where somebody said you should buy some perf board and cut it into strips and then just attach the perf board to the inside of your frame. I thought of doing that, but um, the electronics retailer here in town is the only one in town, so they charge a lot. And it was like 10 bucks for a four and a half by six inch board, and I would have needed like five of them, and I thought that's too much money. So I went with the drill idea, and this is working so well. Here's the uh, the other kind, the 45P or whatever it's called, and it's the same size, and it fits through. And with a nice flat head on it, look at how much it sticks in. Sorry about that. Look at how much it sticks through. Barely at all. So I've got all this extra room down here to mount 
my acrylic to the frame. That is so great. Um, obviously, or maybe it's not obvious, I might be out to lunch, I don't know. On the back here, I'm going to have to get some, I don't know, paper or some felt or, or something just to cover the back of the aluminum. I don't think that uh, like a 12 volt current or a 5 volt current or whatever it is I'm going to use to power these LEDs is really going to get shorted out on the aluminum. It wouldn't really follow the, that's not the path of least resistance, right? But just to make sure, I'll, I'll protect this with something and kind of poke out the holes so that I can solder all the LEDs together in whatever type of circuit I'm going to figure out. And, uh, and have it so that they won't be touching the aluminum at all. And then I think that'll just be great. So for those that are just starting out and trying to figure out the stuff that isn't really talked about much on the forums, the actual like physical, physical construction, I would use this aluminum. It is, let's see here, 1 16th by three quarters by three feet. So that's one sixteenth thickness, three quarters of an inch on each side. I mean, that's a measurement you can come up with on your own, three feet long, obviously, whatever you can get, but sixteenth of an inch thickness has been working perfectly for me. Drilling holes with a 13 sixty-fourths bit. I'm using Milwaukee, use whatever you can get. I'm sure they're all basically the same you know, DeWalt, Porter, Cable, my drills of Black & Decker, whatever you can get, get that size, 16, sorry, 13 fourths. The LEDs fit in there perfectly. Hopefully that's a good tip. Um, see you in the next video.